At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. Today is officially the draft, so I'll have some information for you today, um, one way or the other. <sighs> draft day. You're the only goalie on the list. Perfect. I likely break the table, man. The new goaltender for the... Withville, Virginia area. I'm looking forward to playing for you this season. Oh! Let's go! <laughs> they don't have a name yet. They're the Wildville Professional Hockey Team. I'm really excited to bring some excitement to the community and kind of bring the community together through some NASCAR and ice, as we like to call it here on the podcast. You knew there was an expansion draft coming up. They had already kind of replaced you in, in Motor City, and they were not looking to go for a third goaltender. So, I mean, I think the writing was on the wall. Uh, to anybody watching in Motor City, if you remember the management, you know, the, the team, all this is possible because, you know, Nick believed me, the team signed me, and I got an opportunity, and, and here we are. So, thank you very much. So after the draft, obviously Virginia owns my rights now. I'm a member of the Whitfield Pro Hockey Team, although I'm not signed, so they still do have to sign me to a contract for this upcoming season. And I'm now the former starting right bench of the Motor City Rockers, but I do have all this purple equipment now. I'm not kind of set on what I want to use for the season gear-wise, so I using the Warrior stuff. Two weeks ago, I'll probably go back to the Warrior stuff. Got some Hyperlight 2 stuff coming. There will be definitely be a uh, custom set in the very near future. So this is Braden Lowe. He spent five years in the ECHL and last season playing pro over in Denmark along with Adam Haluka who spent four years pro in the American Hockey League and is now playing Finland this season. Now they both run a skill skate together and I'm essentially their living breathing shooter tutor for this session. My focus here is getting back to 100% from hip surgery and that is facing real releases, real shooters for the first time since surgery and this is a big step. The reading of the releases, the angles, the micro adjustments when they're about to release the puck, all things that I haven't done since November when I had my last practice in Motor City before I left the team. regular viewer of the show, you're probably tired of me talking about public transit now I take the bus everywhere. However, one of the construction crew guys from across the street saw me struggling and was nice enough to help me carry my bag home. So showed it to him, which is very much appreciated. I think that when the season starts in Withville, when I'm 100%, everybody, myself included, are going to notice night and day differences with how much better my hands are, how much just, I'm an upgraded goaltender. Like I've fixed the biggest problem that I've had physically and in my game, basically my entire life. I have access to things that I never had access to before. I just can't wait to show that to, to everybody come opening night. <laughs> Are you recording? Yes. In Withville, Virginia. It's a population of 8,000. I know, it's a very small place. <laughs> We're doing a bunch of orders for the collective series of cards that are free if you're a Patreon member, which you can sign up for with the link in the description. If you want to buy them, 12 bucks for the two holographic cards, or 10 bucks for the regular print, 20 bucks for the whole eight piece set. On the other side of the Vancouver Harbor is Level 10 Fitness and my trainer, John. Now, John and I have been working together for about two months and we're quickly approaching month three, but our focus since day one has been trying to restabilize my movements, building a lot of functional single leg strength and control that ultimately translates into my crease this season. Now, obviously my hip surgery has been the main storyline of just about every single video I post these days, but it really has become the number one mission in my life. Going from no strength and muscle atrophy immediately after my surgery to trying to regain all that strength back and access the flexibility and mobility that my surgeon blessed me with. Now, obviously there's a lot of scar tissue still built up in my hip from this surgery, but Cyrus, my acupuncturist, is trying to work with me on working it all out of my system. But as far as John and I go, we are right on schedule for the start of the season. I've always been kind of a load of a history nut. Like architecture, landscapes, history have always fascinated me. And Vancouver is no different. It's surrounded by the mountains in the valleys in between the mountains with the oceans all facing to the west. And the architecture of Vancouver as well being well over 100 and something years old, back to Coal Harbor, one of the most beautiful areas in downtown as you see here on the screen, 
but specifically here at the waterfront station where this thing's well over 100 years old. One of the reasons why in these videos you see so many awesome skyline shots, so many mountain shots. I mean, it's just a really awesome place. Honestly, this is probably my new favorite glove right now. I'm probably gonna end up sticking with the Sheath 90. I might even order a, a game one. This is just a, a practice glove. The pads is where I kind of run into a little bit of a predicament because I loved the 20.2s after I got used to them. But they're a little bit soft when you compare them to the G6s and the G6s, rebounds are rock hard. RVHs are a little bit stiff. I would have liked a little bit more flex in the boot, but as far as from the boot up, that's the stiffest pad Warrior can physically make. Stick wise. Yeah, I like this, it'll be good, sweet. How does it feel? Feels amazing. You might even do it to his sticks after. That's basically how you shave your sticks. I know you're taking a saw to a $300, $400 stick, but I never had any issues. Okay, so I need Gorilla Glue to put on the butt ends grips, the little calm grip I put on the shaft of my stick. It's the only way to get it to set. Gorilla Glue is gonna do the trick. And now a word from today's video sponsor, Sheath Underwear. All men suffer from having their hand bones stick to the side of the leg from time to time, but Sheath Underwear has fixed that with their dual pouch technology. It is a compartment in your underwear that separates and compartmentalizes everything, so it can't stick to the side of your leg or together anymore, and it's gonna be keeping you fresh. That, in combination with their cooling bamboo mesh technology, is the best comfort and the best fit that you can find in a pair of underwear these days. I've worn exclusively sheath underwear for two plus years, and I wouldn't wear anything else. And you can too, when you use the promo code TRAVSUCKS for 20% off at sheathunderwear.com. You just click on the first link in the video description to pick up a pair today. And I mean, sheath underwear is all over my gear for a reason. That's how you know it's the real deal. They're incredible. I can't recommend them enough. And I want to say thanks to Sheath Unwear for sponsoring this video. I'm now property of the Withville Pro Hockey Team in Virginia for the 2023-24 season. Keep in mind that the team still does have the option to trade my rights or they would have to sign me to play for this upcoming season. But in the short term, I'm going to be spending the next couple weeks traveling to Halifax, Nova Scotia to skate with Jack Hardigan, Toronto for a few days, home in Winnipeg for a week, and back to Vancouver to finish up my recovery from surgery and preparation for the start of the upcoming FPHL season. I can't wait to share all of it with you here on the vlog and my podcast, Sling the Biscuit. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I do new episodes of the podcast and this vlog every single Sunday, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.